three lab devices are supported through two apps, one of them being the FDM app or FreeLab Device Manager. It is meant to check up on your FreeLab hardware and more specifically the FX chip BLEs to make sure their battery life is still sufficient for your training sessions as well as to check if they still run the latest software. If you open up the app you'll be greeted by the following screen that will directly search for the nearest chips. Make sure to put the chips on top of the cones or on a table while the cones are on the ground. Otherwise the chips will not be detected if you just put them next to the cones on the ground. Once the chip or chips have been detected you can see how much battery is left and if there is a new software update. To check for new software updates just tap the gear wheel and you'll be able to see if a new update is available or if your chips are running the latest software. Now to be honest the detection of the battery life we found to be rather inaccurate. There have been multiple times when we checked the battery and the app said there was plenty left and then when we checked the second time a few minutes later the app said the battery was almost or completely empty. If we then triple checked the battery was almost full again or fully full again so this feature we found not to be the most reliable one. Now if the battery is close to or completely empty it will of course not be detected by the FreeLab cones. You can double check this by seeing if the chip still emits a red light or not when it's near a FreeLab cone. If the battery is dead, no worries, you can change the battery yourself. It may seem a bit tricky at first or it at least was so for us. But once you've done it a few times, you'll get the hang of it. For the video's sake, we'll quickly demo a battery change. Rotate the chip and remove the clip on the back. Unscrew the four tiny screws and pull the cap from the chip. Now you see the hardware and the battery and you can slowly pull it out of the chip. Carefully remove the battery and replace it with a new one. If you replace the battery, you can put back the hardware in the chip, put on the lid and screw back the tiny four screws. Finally, put the clip back on the chip and you successfully replace the chip's battery and you are ready to go again. Now the FDM FreeLab Device Manager is very useful and you'll be definitely be using it to check in on your FreeLab chips every few months. But it is not the most important FreeLab app. That is the My FreeLab app. And if you want to know all about that app and its recent 2023 redesign, click the card to watch that video.